Christian Eriksen arrives at Manchester United training for the first time along with Lissandra Martinez, but before training, him and Martinez do have a meeting with Ten Hag to discuss plans. And then Christian Eriksen gives his first interview as a Manchester United player and talks about why he joined Man so United. So today was Lissandra Martinez and Christian Eriksen's first day at Manchester United, their first day of training, and they're set to be involved in a behind closed door friendly versus Wrexham tomorrow. Eriksen did all his interviews today, which have been released by the club, and Martinez did all his interviews today, which I assume will be released by tomorrow by the club. I think there's some delays of Martinez's visa issues. I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but we've obviously seen a lot of pictures of Ericsson, especially in training, and Martinez, and I will put some of them on the screen. It has also been said by Simon Jones of the Mail that Ronaldo joined his teammates, plus new signings Christian Eriksen and Alessandro Martinez for, an over, for over an hour as the manager and staff debriefed what had gone on Manchester United's tour of Thailand and Australia. So after, so obviously Ronaldo came in early with Martinez, Eriksen, obviously there was a whole meeting with Ronaldo and George Mendes as well. And um, basically Ten Hag was giving them free sort of a catch up on what they missed on pre-season tour and what has gone on. Now Christian Eriksen has been announced in the Manchester United photos today. We're having a look, a little bit of an inside look into Christian Eriksen's first day at Manchester United training, meeting the manager, pictures, interviews, doing a little bit of training, catch up, catching up on pre-season tour and all of that. But I really want to delve into Christian Eriksen's interview, um, talking about a lot of things. And actually, there's also a video clip of Christian Eriksen and Brandon Williams hugging again and recreating that moment. But let's get right into the Eriksen interview and what Eriksen's had to say about joining Manchester United. Eriksen said, it's weird. I never thought it would happen. So to be here, to be a Manchester United player is very, very special. And it must be for him, you know. A year ago, he kind of was shafted out of Inter Milan. He was obviously training with Ajax. He'd obviously had that horrible thing happen at the Euros. You know, he, you know, someone had told him after he'd had a heart attack and it just wasn't working at Inter that he'd be a United player. He'd probably been like, whoa, because he was linked to us three, four seasons ago. And I think once he moved to Inter, everyone just assumed it was never going to happen. So very special moment for him. And also, we know he really likes Ten Hag. So not only is he a Man United player, but he's a Man United player with Ten Hag. Ericsson, why he chose Man United, like sort of what was the reason behind Ericsson choosing Manchester United, what was the moment and he says first of all the football, I mean I'm a guy who wants to play football and I think with the idea of the manager coming in and also with my conversations with him, I mean I could see myself playing football in Manchester, he's sort of saying the, the moment that made him want to pick United was Ten Hag, his relationship with Ten Hag and obviously the way Ten Hag plays and obviously the football that Ten Hag is going to play at Manchester United, I think a big part of it as well, maybe his relationship with Ten Hag at Ajax, as well. Ericsson said on Manchester United, it's a very, very big club. If not the biggest, it is the biggest. Um, if you pronounce it anywhere, they know where it's from. They know where the locals come from. I think Man I think he's right, though. I think Manchester is one of the most recognised cities in the world. Like it's In England, it's London. Then it's probably Manchester. Even though Birmingham and Leeds are bigger cities, I feel like everyone's just heard of Manchester. I think a big part of that is Man United. Um, Ericsson also said on his connection with Brandon Williams of last season, he spoke about that moment. He said, what do we call that? A connection, okay, okay. And he actually, him and Brandon Williams hugged together. And I think that was such like a cute, sweet moment of, oh my God, I found someone. Oh, it's Ericsson. Let me give him a hug and all of that as well. Ericsson spoke about Ten Hag and Ten Hag's influence on him joining. And I think, as Ericsson said, the moment that really influenced him to join was Man United appointing Ten Hag and obviously the contact with Ten Hag. And he said that, um, you know, Ten Hag had a big influence on him joining. He said, I want to come here and play football. I don't want to come here for the logo itself. I want to come here and play. And obviously... You know, Eric Ten Hag has ensured Christian Eriksen game time. And we know that Christian Eriksen likes Ten Hag as well. Um, he, Eriksen also says, obviously, to speak to the manager and hear his ideas and have conversations with him on football terms was a great idea for me to get the decision and possibility of coming to Manchester United. And we know that Christian Eriksen has had multiple conversations with Ten Hag, multiple conversations with Manchester United. Christian Eriksen later on in the interview was then asked about himself, what he could potentially bring and who, what, what kind of person he is. And Ericsson said, I'm an open person. I like playing football. I like doing funny bits on the pitch, being involved and helping. If I need to help someone, I'll help someone by being a team player. And I think everyone's always known that Ericsson's a team player. He's, he's got a little bit of leadership qualities in him as well. He was a very good player at Spurs. And he's always been a player that I think everyone likes. Even at Brentford, he was such a team player. And even after everything he's gone through, you know, he's still not that old. I think Ericsson even said in the interview, by the time my contract expires, I'm 33. You know, a lot of players are still playing at a good level at 33. Look at Ronaldo at 37. You know, he's a very good player and he's going to obviously influence us a lot. I've always said with Ericsson, one thing he brings is that control, that experience. Good at set pieces. He, he kind of knows a little bit about Ten Hag in his way already. He's a top player. I mean, if he can perform like that for Brentford, imagine how good he'll be with better players around him at Manchester United. Ericsson said that he thinks 
but his style of play will hopefully fit with Ten Hogs and the, and they have similar ideas and hopefully it's something that will connect good in a positive way. I mean, Ten Hag wanted Ericsson and, you know, Ericsson was a player on the free and I thought, well, you've got Bruno and Donny in that role, you know, United probably don't need him and all of that. But we know from Laurie Whitwell, we know from a lot of good journalists, like a lot of good inside sources that Eric Ten Hag was adamant on getting Christian Eriksen. He really wanted Christian Eriksen. He believed that he was a key piece to the puzzle of the midfield and that actually Christian Eriksen was a player that Eric Ten Hag really wanted high up there, really rated. And Eric Ten Hag clearly has a plan for Christian Eriksen because it wasn't just like what Man United, Man United have done in the past. Oh, Cavani's a free signing. We didn't get Sancho. Let's get Cavani. United weren't particularly looking at Eriksen and, and it wasn't a United signing. It was a Ten Hag signing. He's like, I want this guy. And De Jong and Eriksen are the two fundamentals to Ten Hag's plans reportedly as well. Ericsson said, um, I'm pretty sure the ambitions are, of course, for Manchester United to be top again. It's the dream of the club it's the, and the history is being the best history in the world, referring to how good United's history is. So I think the only aim is to go as high as possible and see where it takes us. Get Manchester United back to where they belong is where we need to go. Ericsson did say, of course, he's only seen, he's seen the pre-season games and it looks good. The team looks good. I think it's definitely something that we can push for. And I hope I can help the fans be able to come to games and enjoy the football that we're going to play. So Ericsson talking about pre-season, getting United back to the top. Believes that Ten Hag can. He's obviously watched the pre-season games. Said it looked really, really good. But he's also saying, hopefully, we're going to play football that the fans enjoy. And we actually got a little bit of a stat here via Statman Dave, um, that said, since moving to Spurs in 2013, Ericsson had registered more assists from set pieces, 26, than any other player. And he obviously had two, a good two seasons away from Spurs. So, you know, Ericsson is a very good set piece taker. I think we have lacked on that set piece department as well. I think Ericsson's going to bring so many things we're lacking. I think good mentality, uh, a player that, you know, it has been coached properly, a player that has, I think, almost that intelligence and IQ. I think it's a very good matter replacement. A player that still is, near the top of his game despite what people were saying look is it is it going to displace Bruno in that 10 roll no but could he maybe fill in at center forward on the right on the left could we maybe even see a midfield free of Ericsson Bruno and Fred I, I unlikely but I, I think we will see Ericsson feature a lot I think he will be playing around the park and I think he's definitely going to add a lot and if worse comes to worse he's also depth I think you know one place where missing is really depth and the thing I don't get is, if Man United sign a player, and we've already got a player there, like we've signed a left back and we've already got Luke Shaw, and we've signed Ericsson and we've already got Bruno, everyone's like, why have we signed them? They're not going to start. But then we go on pre-season, we're complaining about depth. You know, absolutely complaining about depth in a loads of positions. And it's like, depth is so important. There's the five sub rule, we're, we're very thin. I mean, look at us. You know, we've got the first team in pre-season and the reserve team's practically all youth. You know, depth is needed and Ericsson brings that. So a roundup of what's happened today, what's gone inside Carrington, there was obviously the Ronaldo meetings going on with Manchester United, where Manchester United's conclusion is we do not want you to leave. I think there's a situation where Atletico Madrid would get Ronaldo if they could have him for free and just pay his wages, but obviously he'd take the wage cut to do that. And that Atletico Madrid do not have the financials to buy Ronaldo. And potentially George Mendes was there, Mendes was there trying to push United to just let Ronaldo go on a free, which obviously United are never going to let happen. That's sort of what's going on at Carrington today. But we've also had the Sandra Martin at Carrington today. Not many pictures of him, but he has been in meetings. He has done his interviews and he has been pictured in a kit. It's just, we're just waiting on Man United to release that. He came in with Ericsson. He travelled in with Ericsson. We obviously got updates on Frankie de Jong. And literally, I'm not going to get too much into the Frankie de Jong situation. I will talk about it in my life tomorrow. It's stay at Barcelona and take a wage cut or move to Manchester United. Who even knows? The, I mean, Man United's a mess. Man United don't have a plan. I, I generally think we're really unorganised at the moment. It's very much like, let's hope Ronaldo stays. Let's hope we get Dion. But I don't think United know what the outcome will be of both situations as well. So that is sort of the news going in today. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new. Make sure you share the video. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of video as well. I will be back live tomorrow evening. See you then. Bye.